So after configuring Nextcloud, we will now configure a folder for a seminar. So I will do this using one seminar as an example, but the only thing what you need to do to configure different seminars is to change some paths to directories and to change the nbgrader configuration file to point to the correct course ID. So I will configure for the ADSP. So what I'm going to do is I am going to my home folder and I will create a new folder and this folder will be called ADSP Seminars Work. So this is going to be the folder where I am going to work on the seminars. So pay attention. Once you have your next cloud folder, this is our exchange folder. So NBGrader will take care of all the file management. NBGrader will copy things from one place to another when we fetch or when we submit assignments. So you should not touch these folders here. You should not edit anything inside it. You should not copy files. You should not modify. The maximum what you need to do in case if it's needed is to change permissions. If it's for some reason read only or something like that, and then we need to change permissions, but we will find that later. Maybe it's not even needed. Maybe you need to change some ownership, but that's it. We should not edit or add or copy or delete things inside these folders here. So this is for our work we're going to create. So if I would work on a different form audio coding, then I would create another folder, audio, seminar, uh, audio coding seminars work. Then this is the audio coding seminars folder where I'm going to work. So to configure NBGrader, we need to tell NBGrader some configuration and we need to inside. So now I'm going to configure the ADSP seminar. So inside this ADSP seminars work, I need to create a file here called nbgrader config.py and then nbgrader we will know that this working directory will use also an exchange that will be our next cloud ADSP seminars winter semester 2022. So the first thing we need to do to configure after we create our working folder is to create this nbgrader configuration file. So now we are going to the GitHub of TU Yumenau Applied Media Systems Group. So we are at TU Yumenau AMS, so github.com slash TU Yumenau AMS, and here you find a lot of repositories. Some are private, so it's used by instructors, but you have access to the public, and depending on the seminars, that you are going to take. So in our case, we are co uh, configuring for ADSP. So I go to the ADSP tutorials, then I go to seminars. And here there is a template for this nbgrader config.py. So the course ID is already set and we can see that this course ID, ADSP seminars winter semester 22 is the same as we have here in our next cloud, ADSP Seminars AWS Winter Semester 22. So it must match, it must be exactly how it's spelled here, the course ID with this folder. Here we have an exchange route. So usually it's in this format here, not with instructor, but we will put home, in our case, Jimi Hendrix, and then we will have next we need the path to the exchange route and this path will be the path to the next cloud folder that we created here so it will be this um, path here so home Jimi Hendrix next cloud 
And then you need to put your student ID, which is your matricule number, your matriculation number. And this is your identity in the course. And BigRadio, you use this number to identify yourself in the system. So folders will have this number. So files will have this number and we know who is who in the NBGrader system. So you can or download this file and copy here in your working folder and then add it. Or I am going to open a text editor. Then I am going to copy this information here. I'll paste into the text editor. This you should not change. So for each seminar, there will be a different course ID that matches the folder as I explained. But the exchange route I am going to change. So my exchange route now is Jimmy Home Jimmy Hendrix. Next cloud. So the NB grader is going to look in this path. So he goes inside home Jimi Hendrix next cloud and he tries to find this folder here with this course ID. If it doesn't find it, then you are in trouble. It means that you did something wrong and your configuration is not working. So in our case, NB grader will go to home Jimi Hendrix next cloud and then there should be this directory. In our case, we have home, Jimi Hendrix, next cloud, and here is the directory. Home, Jimi Hendrix, next cloud, and then it's going to find this folder here. I will, here you should put your matricule number. So Jimi Hendrix matricule number is 666-6927. We are ready to save. So we must save this inside the, the ADSP Seminars Work folder, and it must be called nbgrader.config.py, exactly how we saw here, nbgrader.config.py. So this is the name that we are going to save inside our working folder. Now we have in our working folder the NB grader config file. Very important thing to remember the working folder is completely separate from Nextcloud. Don't do anything inside here. So, in the past, a lot of people are putting this config file inside here and then they open a Jupyter notebook here and then the system is broken. You need to have your working folder. It is your exchange folder. NB Grader takes care. And here is your working folder. So here is where you do your work. Now that we have our NB Grader config file, if we would start a Jupyter Notebook in this folder, the Jupyter Notebook must be started exactly where this file is located. So then nbgrader looks for this file, checks the configuration, and will work everything fine. So I am going to open this in the terminal. So Jimi Hendrix had already configured, following the instructions, an environment to use with the ADSP seminar. At the moment, we are at the Conda base. So I'm going to Conda, activate. ADSP seminars. Oops. Seminars. So now I'm on the correct environment. I'm in the correct place. So I'm on my working folder, ADSP seminars work, where this NB Grader config file is located. And I'm going to start a Jupyter notebook. So I can see that NB Grader is installed correctly because we have form grader courses and assignments, and this you would not see if you don't have NB Grader if you have just Jupyter Notebook. And I will go to Assignments. 
And here we see that we have an error fetching courses. So I made this on purpose because this is very common to happen. This is related to permissions. So it's saying that the exchange directory does not exist or could not be created. But when you are having some problems, what you need to do is look for help. Look, try to debug it. And the best way to get more information is if you open the terminal. And here we already see a lot of things. So when I start the Jupyter notebook, there is this log. So it's loading a lot of things. And then when I tried to access, it's saying exchange error, unwritable directory. So this means that we cannot write in this directory. When we go back here to our home, we already see that there is this lock here. So we already see that there is some permissions just to access files, create and delete files just for the root. So we need, you are not the owner, so you cannot change these permissions. So what we need to do is we need to change permissions so we can access files and then NBGrader can also access. How do we change permissions? There are many ways how you do change permissions. You can look at the documentation. In my case, I'm going to open a terminal here. Now I'm going to do sudo ch mod. I will give all permissions to this next cloud folder. So I'm using this 777. We also see that it changed color. So now I will go back to the Jupyter. If I go to the assignments now, and the grader is finding a released assignment for seminar 01 for the course ADSP Seminars Winter Semester 2022. And you have here an option to fetch this assignment. So we see that we now solve this unwritable directory by changing the permissions using sudo chmod all permissions to the next cloud and fetch. So when we fetch, NBGrader is copying files from the exchange folder to our working folder. So before we just had this file, but now we have another file here, Seminar 1, with a notebook inside. So NBGrader, as I mentioned before, manages all this copying from one place to another. Then you could click here, open your assignment, and you will work on it, and when you are ready, you can submit.